वेलकम टू मेसिन लर्निंग ट्यूटोरियल्स दिस इज डॉक्टर जना एंड यू आर वाचिंग वीडियो स्पेसिफिकली ऑन दिस एल्गोरिथम डिसीजन ट्री इफ यू लुक एट दिस पिक्चर हियर द राइट हैंड साइड देयर इज सम ओकेजन व्हेयर वी कैन यूज दिस डिसीजन ट्री व्हेन वी हैव टू टेक सम डिसीजन लाइक सपोज ए कैंडिडेट गेट्स a number of offer say 3 to 4 offers he got it and he has to decide which offer he has to accept and which one he has to decline or reject suppose he keeps a criteria that he will be only joining he or she will be joining with a offer uh, 50000 to 80000 dollar per annum so if it is yes so then there is a chance he may accept if it is no will decline the offer okay so this type of things again suppose suppose he is getting a offer of 50000 to 80000 dollar per annum then there is another option he puts that whether the company is providing a cab the transportation facility uh, sorry the, the whether the company is uh, nearer to his hometown or it is away suppose the company is away from the novom town so he declined the offer if it is nearer he selects yes there is a chance similarly if the company is nearer to his home then he search whether they are providing any transportation like the providing a cab facility so if it is yes then he is accepting and otherwise he is declining this offer right so this type of decision when we have to go for so we use this decision tree and as you know this tree as the name implies it is a tree structure and the tree structure will be having some uh, parent node or the root node and then the intermediate roots and the leaf nodes like that here root node on the top so this is the decision node also and in between we will be having a number of decision nodes then finally we will be having the leaf nodes right so this is the way how we will be deciding all things now uh let us understand the concept what is this decision trees or dts the decision tree uh, these are non parametric non parametric supervised learning methods and that is used both for classification as well as the regressions understand this is mainly supervised learning and it can be used both for the classification as well as the regression but here we will be mainly focusing on this classification and here the goal is to create a model that predicts the value of target variable by learning simple decision rules inferred from these data structures means the data features that means from this data what you are having from that it will infer some decision rules and based on this decision rules it will be uh, predicting the target variable that means it will predict y based on the input data the training data of x right now the decision tree it provides an effective method for making decision because they lay out the problem and also all the possible outcomes and it enables developers to analyze the possible consequences of a decision as the algorithm access more data that is most more important and it can also predict the outcome for future data and a decision tree it is a tree like structure that represents a series of decision and their possible consequences this is very important so it's on this principle it will be working and the purpose of a decision tree it is to make a decision or predictions by learning from this past data and in this uh, example here we are taking some example this is simple decision tree we analyze whether a student will pass or fail based on some uh, predictors right and the decision tree it is suitable for classification problem and the selecting a variable and also hierarchy is important here selecting a variable to select as the root node right right and this problem can be overcome by using some concept like entropy information gain and is a information gain and gain index right so then uh, we learn about something what is this entropy entropy is something like the disorder or the randomness and uncertainty right then in the decision tree we use nodes sub nodes and leaf nodes these are the concept we will be using and the splitting of the tree is done using this you know uh, entropy information gain and gain index right 
and there is problem of overfitting and uh, we should uh, think how to overcome that one here we split the target variable to make more homogeneous that is homogeneous in the sense it is purity say for example the candidate will pass it is pure or it will fail that is also pure but 5 pass 4 fail so this is impure that is not homogeneous right now what is the root node the root node here we start splitting process by finding variables that best split the target variable based on that we call it as a root node right then the decision tree or decision nodes these are impure nodes that is a mixture of both okay suppose pass and fail and this is also we call it the intermediate node and finally the leaf node or the terminal node these are pure nodes uh, that is the prediction of class is done here so this is the basic principle now let us take the student data set uh, which we have taken from this kaggle uh, this is used for predicting pass or fail uh, the predictor variables are like uh, we are depending on three that is the whether the student enrolled uh, in other online courses if any so that means he cannot spend more time for this course so there is a chance he may fail so the background is also important suppose the background is mathematics or computer science and others so based on that the student pass fail is also decided then the candidate is working or not working suppose he is working he has less time for this course not working he is dedicatedly available for this course so based on this we will be uh, deciding all the things pass fail right now let us take this data here uh, the serial number and the target variable we are having the exam result that means we are going to predict pass or fail that is the target variable and the predictor variable which are represented in the x-axis uh, like the other online courses yes no like that whether he registered for other online courses like MBA he is going for MS program he is going for parallelly other program PhD program then the predictor variable another is that a student background suppose we are having three background like the mathematics computer science and other so a student with mathematics background uh, there is less chance of uh, um, fail or with computer science there is more chance of pass like that we can have the student background and another criteria that is the working status whether the student is working or the candidate is working or not working not working means he is dedicatedly available for so there is more chance of pass working means he has less time so it may affect his career or the result fine so based on this we decide then we go for the student uh, uh, the, the variable the student background uh, we will find that uh, there are more than two levels of categories like uh, the background is mathematics computer science and others and from this uh, from this uh, here we can see uh, we are having pass and fail if you see here one pass how many people pass 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and 8 so 8 people pass and 7 people fail you remember this thing so 8 number of student passed and 7 number of people failed similarly not working and working not working it is 1 2 3 4 5 6 people not working so remaining 9 people are working so based on that we can decide okay now um, we the student on the student background uh, we saw that we are having more than two levels so the student can have a mathematics background it can be a computer science background it can he can have other background and it is one of the advantages of decision tree compared to other classifications like the logistic regression or SBM that we don't need to carry out uh, one hot encoding to make these into dummy variables that is the thing we follow there the SBM as well as the degree logistic regression but here we overcome all things then what is this root node to identify the root node uh, we would evaluate the impact of all the variables that uh, we have currently on the uh, target variable to identify the variables that splits the exam pass fail classes into the most homogeneous group either he passes or fail right and our candidates for splitting these are the background working status whether working not working and other online courses registrations right now if you decide on this working status the student either it is sorry the candidate is working or not working so if you see uh, out of this working nine number people are there and out of nine five pass and four fail okay then similar not working 
not working six students are there mm, so out of that uh, five people passed and one failed this is more uh, pure in comparison to the working okay not working only one failed out of uh, six one five pass but here five people passed and four people failed so in this way uh, the same thing we have explained it here and a node which is impure can be branched further for improving purity so like that we have seen the previously this is more impure because there are five pass and four fail this is more impure this is pure more uh, pure because only one student failed you got it now so however the most of the time we don't necessarily go down to point where each leaf is pure it is not necessary because at a certain time uh, because if you go on splitting like this it will lead to um, the overfitting problem right and this decision tree it follows a top down and greedy approach right the top down greedy approach that is known as the recursive binary splitting and the recursive binary splitting approach is top down because it begins at the top of the tree and then it successfully splits and predictor spaces splits the predictor spaces then at each split the predictor space gets divided into two and is shown via the new two branches pointing downwards and the algorithm is termed as greedy because at each step of the process the best split is made for that step right this is the reason why you called it the top down greedy approach now what is the variable uh, or for selecting or what is the uh, on what basis we um, select the variables or variable selection criteria uh, here the true complexity and sophistication of the decision tree lies variables are selected on a complex statistical criteria which is applied at each decision node so we can do it using the two approaches one is the entropy and information gain second one is the gain index right so in this now first we'll try uh, entropy and information gain the second approach we'll try just after this now what is entropy as uh, we have discussed that entropy is a measure of disorder or impurity in a node thus a node with more variable composition such as two pass and two fail would be considered have a higher higher entropy than a node which has only pass or fail okay that means is already the uh, leaf node either pass or fail so there is uh, no uh, no impurity it is pure right so leaf node uh, which have all instances belonging to one class would have a entropy zero try to understand what i am telling with that because there is no impurity here there is no impurity here entropy means it is some impurity some disorder right where the entropy for a real uh, for a node where the classes are divided equally uh, would be one suppose five people pass five people fail here uh, the the entropy will be one right and entropy is measured uh, by the formula we are using a formula uh, that is pi into log of pi base 2 and uh, summation of i is equal to 1 to n and uh, negative of that one why are putting the negative i will tell you uh, but uh, what is the pi this pi is the probability of randomly selecting an example uh, in class i so in our problem here we have taken there are 15 people 15 students out of that 8 pass and 7 fail that means probability of uh, uh, pass it will be 8 by 15 so probability of fail will be 7 by 15 same thing i am telling you that that is we will be calculating for 8 by 15 we will be calculating for 7 by 15 we go for the summation and put a negative sign uh, that is the uh, call the entropy okay now the p pass i told you that it is 8 by 15 and the probability of fail that is equal to 7 by 15 now we will calculate the entropy and the entropy of parent minus the entropy of child that will be the information gain the same thing we are going to do it here so the same formula i have given it here now let us uh, uh, see the parent node calculation parent node calculation what i told you uh, the entropy that is for the student number of student pass probability of student pass it is 8 by 15 so then how do i calculate the entropy it is minus of 8 by 15 log to 8 by 15 plus 7 by 15 log to 7 by 15 so 8 passed and 7 failed you got it now and i will tell you one thing uh, if you are using your calculator for calculating this logarithm base 2 especially the casio you are will be using no fx 90 or 100 or like that uh, there will be two options either log 10 log means log 10 or ln that is the natural logarithm base 
but we need to calculate the log to base 2 so that you see some functions will be there to calculate otherwise uh, there are some website how we can use that one to calculate this log 2 that you do how to calculate that is your business you do it learn it how to calculate with the base 2 so once you calculate e of all this value multiplied with the, no this thing and log of this thing so it is coming 0 0.9968 okay what is the entropy at the uh, root node it is 0 0.9968 fine remember this thing then uh, let us begin the work with the work status the employee is uh, working the student is working or not working so i have shown you that uh, there are uh, nine number of working none uh, so uh, three people um, pass and uh, six people uh, fail while they are working when the people are working from this working group uh, there are nine number of working groups and out of, out of that three people pass and six people fail then how to calculate the entropy so three by nine log of three by nine plus six by nine log of see, uh, base two so it is coming 0 0.91 similarly for non non not working uh, not working you are having a total six so five people are uh, um, passed and one people fail okay then how calculate five by six into log two five by six see, there is a mistake it make it five by six plus one by six logs to one by six calculating it is also coming zero point six five double zero right then how do we calculate the average for average the status uh, because uh, already we see this is the nine passed and six fail like that we already seen it there so nine by fifteen uh, into 0 0.9183 uh, okay so you no, don't be confused for this thing mm. here you see the working is 9 and uh, not working it is 6 okay so total is 15 9 by 15 into 0 0.9183 for this pass uh, and uh, 6 by 15 into 0 0.65 it is for fail so calculating the average it is coming 0 0.8110 then what is the entropy gain entropy gain will be um, see uh, entropy gain it in comparison to the parent is 9968 minus uh, your uh, 8 there is some mistakes is there actually you can see here actually 0 0.8110 it is 9968 uh, okay based on that it is coming 0 0.185 these are some mistakes are there 0 0.1858 right so once you do all the things uh, for the working not working we calculated it is coming 0 0.9183 and the not working it is coming 0 0.65 already we have shown uh, how we have done and the parent it is coming so average of these things it is coming 0 0.8110 and if you subtract this one uh, 0 0.8110 from this 9968 it is coming 0 0.1858 so this is called the information again the difference between the entropy at the parent minus the average entropy here for the working group it is coming 0 0.18 for the background it is coming 0 0.53 and for the online it is coming 0 0.02 what is the maximum here maximum is 0 0.5370 right so uh, from this entropy from the entropy when the information gain is more that we are selecting for the splitting right but in case of gain index what is the minimum value we will be taking for that one that is the only difference you remember now we decided while we are going for this pass fail the uh, background student background is more important that is to be split it right now we d we split it like this the information gain student background we put it like this the student background is divided into mathematics computer science and others and if you see our data uh, which we have taken from this Kaggle. So, uh, with mathematics background, there are seven people are there, seven students are there. Out of that, four pass and three failed. In the computer science background, there are four students, four passed and zero failed. So, this is pure because all the four people pass here. In the other background, uh, zero pass and four fail. This is also pure because pass or fail, some result ideas come. But while you are coming to the mathematics, so this is four pass and three fail. Are you getting me? So definitely there here entropy will be more, here entropy will be more and information gain also will be more here, right. So based on that we will decide, now uh, how to decide the root node of the decision tree. Uh, we have seen the student background split and the target variables into three groups that is like the uh, computer science background, mathematics background, this background, all things three there. 
and uh, uh, in mathematics background you have seen 3 pass 4 pale hence it is impure and there is some scope for further splitting uh, now split the mathematics background into sub nodes uh, which we calculate the entropy and information gain for the remaining variables like the while he is in mathematics background what is the working status and the online whether he is working or not working for that you have to calculate the entropy and information gain and also whether he registered for online course or not uh, based on that also you have to calculate the entropy and the information gain so we uh, using the same formula as what we applied you will find that uh, with the um, background of mathematics i told you that we split it already and we find uh, the background of mathematics is impure remaining are pure so only we are splitting this one now while you are taking the background is mathematics then we go for whether is working not working online not working so in the similar way we calculate the entropy for the working group it is coming this one not working it is coming 0 0 0 similarly the online course yes it is coming 0 0.9183 and uh, no it is coming 1 so from these two average it is coming this one and from these two average it is coming 0 0.9533 and in comparison the, 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 the parent here it is the 0 0.9862 minus this one so this is the information gain and this is the information gain out of this what is the maximum information gain it is 0 0.5216 that means the working group you need to split you got it now see here what you have done the student background uh, these two computer science has all pass it is pure others all fail it is also pure it is mistake it is four four fail because uh, there uh, right so like that here uh, with the the mathematics three pass and two fail three pass and two fail so there is a chance of splitting so how you split it based on working not working so from this working four people are working uh, and uh, not working some people are there so out of this working three people pass one people fail okay but in the not working not working all people pass right so if the decision tree continues to split suppose after that i want to split this working then it will lead to the overfitting you understand why uh, because if you go on splitting uh, the tree increases like anything and uh, we don't get any additional information in that one so uh, there it is as i told you that is not mandatory that we uh, get all the leaf node uh, as pure maybe one may be impure uh, that, that is acceptable that is not issue then another criteria based on which we can go that is the guinea index uh, here the guinea index method how we calculate we have a formula uh, as i told you that entropy and information gain uh, this method focuses on purity and impurity of a node right the guinea index or the impurity measures the probability for a random instance being misclassified when chosen randomly and the lower the guinea index the better is the uh, likelihood of misclassification that means guinea index we have to calculate the minimum that one we have to calculate select now what is the formula the guinea index gini which is equal to 1 minus summation of pi square i is equal to 1 to j what is j this j represents the number of classes in the target variable that is the pass or fail in our example and pi represent the um, the pass the total number of pass divided by the total number of observation as i have given you that was 8 by 15 i already shown you right now uh, using this same formula how you calculate uh, this is uh, say if you go for the uh, because while you are going for these things we are going for this uh, background and in the background other two it is okay because they are already a leap node because either all passes or all fail but in mathematics we are having four pass and three fail right so how do you calculate the gain index here it is one minus uh, summation of pi square it is the pi here four pass totally seven four by seven square minus three by seven square it is coming 0 0.4897 get it now so based on that we can also calculate for the computer science we can calculate for others in the computer science what is there four pass so four by four uh, 0 pass 0 by 4 this is a mistake not 5 this is 4 by 4 0 by 4 so this is 0 4 by 4 is 1 1 minus 1 is equal to 0 here also uh, in others 0 pass and 4 fail 1 minus 0 by 4 whole square minus 4 by 4 whole square 0 by 4 is equal to 0 it is gone then 4 by 4 is equal to 1 minus 1 is equal to 0 right so based on this if you compare all the things if you compare all the things um, then 
misclassification in CS node is zero uh, since everyone passes the misclassification other also it is zero uh, because all fails only the mathematics node um, has the possibility of misclassifications and it is quite high uh, given that the uh, maximum Gini index is 0 0.5 but how much we got Gini index uh, something like that uh, 0 0.4897 the Gini, Gini of for the mathematics then we have to calculate the average of that one Gini of this background is equal to um, 7 by 15 into 0 0.48 Why, where you got the 7 by uh, the, the people uh, because total were 15 uh, 8 pass and 7 by 7 by 15 into 0 0.4897 4 by 15 into 0 4 by because already we calculated here this is 0 and this is 0 right here also 4 here also 4 you got it now and here we calculate only it is 7 total is 7 try to understand total is 7 4 plus 3 7 here it is 4 plus 0 4 here 0 plus 4 4 right so 7 by 15 into 0 0.4897 uh, plus 4 by 15 into 0 plus 4 by 15 into 0 it is coming 0 0.2286 right in the similar fashion we can calculate for this not working uh, we calculate what is the gini working what is not working and what is the uh, status here so previously it was uh, 0 0.2286 here it is coming 0 0.378 for this working not working similarly for online courses also we find the uh, gini online uh, it is coming 0 0.46 and uh, not online it is 0 point and uh, you go for the uh, gini, gini status it is coming 0 0.47 what is the minimum out of these three the first one is the minimum okay so the gini index is lowest for the student background variable hence similar to the entropy and information gain criteria we pick up the variable for this root node like in this way we go on continuing until the pure purity is less or more pure uh, then uh, then one thing is that the difference between the information information gain uh, the minimum 0 maximum 1 but guinea index it is uh, maximum it is 0 0.5 and minimum is equal to 0 uh, that is for purity so then uh, the popular decision tree algorithm that includes id3 uh, c4.5 cart and random forest and this random forest is uh, considered one of the best algorithm as it combines multiple decision trees to improve the accuracy it takes the uh, average one right and it reduces the problem of overfitting then uh, another question comes regarding the splitting when to stop the splitting because if you go on splitting it re results to some as i told that uh, it is overfitting right see um, uh, the tree will give very good accuracy on the training data set but it will give very bad accuracy in the test data that is the problem of the your overfitting right and uh, we can uh, set the maximum depth here how, how to overcome that one we can set the maximum this much of depth will go beyond that will not go this is one criteria and another we can use the grid search cv uh, third thing is that uh, we can put the uh, minimum sample split another way is to set the minimum sample split uh, that is generated by this variable so this is the three way we can do it here and one more important concept is the pruning uh, pruning is another method uh, that can help us avoid overfitting it helps in improving the performance by the tree by cutting the node or sub nodes which are not significant okay additionally it removes the branches which are very low importance and we are having two type of uh, pruning one is the pre pruning another is the post pruning in the pre pruning what we do we can stop growing the tree earlier which means we can prune or remove or cut a node it has low, which has low importance from the beginning itself we will stop them in the post pruning what we do once our tree is built to its full depth we can start pruning the nodes based on their significances this is the true reference and we can implement using uh, our uh, uh, anaconda and also Jupyter notebooks so we need the, we will go for another video well uh, where we will implement all the things the decision tree and the next video will be going for this random forest algorithm thank you for watching this video if you like this video please do share with your friends and if you have any doubt or anything please do uh, send message to me and you can sms to me and uh, if you like this video please do share and also don't forget to subscribe thank you once again and take care of your health goodbye